guys, how's it going? Chez back again with episode number 15 of the Pac-Man Pack Only Road to Glory series. Now, uh, we're pushing into this one on the back of some indifferent form. We've had a decent start to the season, but uh, we're going to give this team its debut. It's one that's mainly made up of some Argentinian players with a uh, kind of a mismatched defence and goalkeeper. But we're trying out each and every squad that we have available to us right now to try and find out which one... Uh, feels the best to play with, which one gives us the best results, and we're going to give this Argentinian-ish team a go. We come up against a really unique side in an all-Icelandic team apart from a Swedish goalkeeper, and uh, he's actually a lot of players from Denmark as well, a lot of FC Copenhagen players in there. You've got Gilfi Sigurdsson at CDM, you've got Eidegger Johnson, the Chelsea legend, up top with the uh, is it Sig Porson from Ajax? I think. Uh, I'm not entirely too sure. But we got off to a decent start. Santana's played through here. And unfortunately, the uh, finesse shot goes just wide of that near post. But we were going to have a lot of chances early on in this one. Valeri this time gets onto the ball. Beats one defender to it. But the second defender just gives him a little nudge on the shoulder. And it is enough to put him off. And he can't quite get the accuracy on the effort that he wanted. But Morales is going to use his pace down this left-hand side. Plays in Zarate. Great shot off the white first post. He's going to go in. No, it's off the other post. The goalkeeper is now absolute retard and uh, <laughs> and Zarate is able to slide in and get our first goal of the game I'll put the replay in because what is the goalkeeper doing admittedly there no chance but he runs past the ball and then he could just pounce on that but he doesn't he stops before the ball and then shimmies on both on uh, on his tiptoes to try and wait for the shot just go and get the ball. Like I'm pretty sure the guy that I'm playing against was absolutely livid with his goalkeeper there. And it just proves how retarded goalkeepers are in this game. But uh, my goalkeeper comes to my rescue there. Great save to tip that one onto the post and keep us in it at half-time. Or well, just before half-time as we go into half-time then. It is 1-0 through that Mauro Zarate goal. Kind of dropped away the past few years, Mauro Zarate. was quite a good player when he was at Inter. But our goalkeeper makes another good save there. Fortunately for us, though, the follow-up goes wide. And he would have been quite annoyed that, uh, that he wasn't able to uh, get himself back into the game there. But Morales is breaking down this right-hand side again. Using that pace. Cuts inside gorgeously, but can't quite get the shot away. Takes a little bit too long before making his mind up which way he wanted to play the shot. I was a bit disappointed he didn't take the, uh, take the shot earlier. And the defender gets across to cut it out. But Icardi's going to get on the score sheet with a lovely diving header. Zarate turns from goal scorer to provider. Whips that one in. And that is enough to give us a 2-0 victory in this one. With this, uh, Brazi not Brazilian, uh, Argentinian side. I've got the right continent, uh, South America. But we were definitely on top in that game. We, uh, we deserved the three points. And the three points is exactly what we got. So we got seven points from the five games so far in this season. If we keep that up for the second half of the season, we'll actually get promoted. Which, considering our form last season will actually be a complete turnaround so we went and bought a 5,000 coin pack and uh, in it we're going to get something not the best but it's still half decent we get Pereira a right back Uruguayan plays for Benfica as the main player we also get an Argentinian centre back that will go very nicely into the team that we've just played with and also Fanny the uh, French right back from Marseille will actually slot into that Argentinian team at right back as you can see linking up with Nkulu then the Argentinian centre back goes in and we've upgraded the bronze left back to the, uh, the Uruguayan gold right back uh, Pereira. So uh, we come up against uh, a decent uh, Serie A side actually with uh, the Sanctis in goal. Obviously moved to Roma from Napoli. Uh, Stefan Savic, the ex-Man City player at centre-back alongside Cannavaro and Rolandos moved from uh, Porto to into Milan. And then a lot of pace up top with Mertens, Niang. So Nier got on the left-hand side. Like Licksteiner on the right-hand side isn't the fastest but he's a very, very solid player. But Inlair breaks three or four tackles there. I was really disappointed. Then as soon as he made that extra turn inside, you just knew he was going to run, run away and finish that chance. And unfortunately, we do go 1-0 down in the 17th minute. But he's going to be really, really loose with possession there. Give it straight to my man who has his shot well saved by De Sanctis, but he palms it straight to Icardi. Easy finish for him, and that brings us back level at 1-1. And then Icardi's going to break away here again. Shake off a couple of tackles, just like Inle did with the earlier chance. Morales is going to try and square it. Hits a defender, and it's a complete mismatch nobody knows where the ball is apart from Icardi races onto it and hooks it with his left foot inside the near post between keeper and woodwork to give us a 2-1 lead at half time so we're looking good going into half time towards the second half but so we're, we're a little bit loose with possession here and unfortunately he's going to break away closer plays Montalivo through down the right hand side neither closer or Montalivo have a lot of pace I thought I was going to get a block in there but he gets too much elevation on it 
rifles right into to that top left hand corner and now unfortunately the defender and goalkeeper stood absolutely no chance and then it's another bit of world class play here closest turn inside it's just gorgeous and again I can't get the block in with a slight tackle finishes the ball really really nicely into that bottom right hand corner in the 85th minute cheeky swan died to celebrate Shevki Kucci would be absolutely dead proud of that and unfortunately we turn around from a 2-1 lead to a 3-2 defeat in the second game of the episodes but we're still looking half decent overall for the season we get a decent coin haul from it as well 471 coins and we were so on top in that game as you can see I was devastated to be completely honest that I didn't get at least a point from that game those stats speak for themselves and that we're actually still just to just one point rather away from safety in this division five points away from going up and uh, eight points away from a potential title which does look a long way away right now but nonetheless that is going to bring this particular episode to a close so if you did enjoy please do feel free to leave the video a like that'd be superb if you aren't subscribed already and would like to see more of this series then feel free to click the subscribe button there will be a link in the description and of course an annotation on screen over the pac-man to do so if you'd like to follow me on twitter at chesnoy gaming i've recently just gone over 250 followers over there and of course if you did miss the previous video then click on the annotation on screen over the pink go and that will take you to that video so thank you very much for watching guys and I will see you next time